So what up, 2K fans? It's time for me to kick those actual factuals to you on how I got the Acrobat badge. And this was per request. A lot of you guys were asking me in the comments in my last video, how do you get the Acrobat badge? And I decided to get this one rather late because being at Rivet City or being a Rivet City Rough Rider, when I play online on the rec center, I tend to just dunk the ball. And there's been plenty of times that I've gotten blocked and there's a reason why Acrobat comes in very handy. So I wanna give you guys how I got the badge, tips on how you can get the badge, and why it's important. My first tip is to play on rookie to all-star difficulty. And I believe that this gameplay is on pro difficulty. And I, it only took me two games to get it. So I'm trying to give you guys tips on how to get it very quickly. As opposed to, you know, going throughout your whole season and waiting for the right opportunity. If you want it right away, you want to play it on pro. Um, you can play it on rookie, probably get it even easier. Um, but I just did it on pro. And, you know, you have some mistakes. Things are going to happen. Like that right there, I laid the ball up on the back side of the backboard. It's not very... It's not that it's hard, and it's not that it's easy either. Eventually, the computer will start to double-team you. They'll start closing up the paint, and it'll make it a little bit more difficult for you to actually get the angle that you need to get this kind of a layup. All right, so what you have to do is pretty simple. All you have to do is attempt 15 reverse and four chain shot layups in a single season. It says you must do both. Now, again, this can be done in one to two games. I did it in two games, and I forced the issue, especially on a lower difficulty. In order to do a reverse layup, all you have to do is attack the basket from the baseline. Notice where I'm coming. I'm coming from the sides. The baseline is that out of bounds area, and you want to hold the right stick in the opposite direction to where you're driving. So if you're moving your left stick to the right like I am right now, you want to move the right stick to the left, kind of like up left depending on how you play with your camera not exactly sure how all you guys use you know your 2k cam I use 2k cam right there I moved the right stick to the up right side I want to say right in a way right here I'm gonna move it to the left as I attempt that layup and of course because the lane gets clogged as many times you're gonna get blocked you're gonna do some bad layups <laughs> you're gonna make a fool out of yourself you're gonna get fouled so it's not as easy as it looks but it can be done in roughly one to two games. I think I did it again. I did it in two games. I'm sure the majority of you guys can get it in one game if you play on rookie with 12 minute quarters. The next thing you guys have to do is you have to do that chain shot layup, which is basically tap square one more time. In the book, it'll tell you to use the right stick. Just tap the right stick in any direction while you're going for a layup or a dunk. Uh, while you're in the lane or something like that, you'll, you'll change up your shot. Um, I typically just hit the square button a second time. Um, if I'm going for a dunk, if I use square, if I use the right stick, I'll just move it again while I'm in, it, while I'm in mid midair. Um, this is actually a very crafty move. You know, um, it works really well, especially when you're playing on the rec center or at the park. And it actually looks pretty cool, but it's pretty easy to pull off. You have to do that four times. And I did that, I believe, four times in this game. And shortly after this game, I got the Acrobat badge. I don't think I recorded my first game where I was attempting these kinds of layups. Um, but I'm giving you guys as much footage as I have left when I was making my run for the Acrobat badge. Um, it's a really, really good thing to have. I don't know if you guys remember my my videos from 2K14, but I used to do a lot of change-up layups, a lot of reverses, and it, you know, it gives you some more options when you're attacking the basket. You know, shows a little bit more stick skills and you know, a slicker way to embarrass a big or somebody that's trying to block your shot. Especially in 2K14, when I used to switch up my layups, I almost did it all the time because in that game, you'd have four or five people chasing you down to block your shot. And it feels really cool to switch it up and have, a, have everybody swinging at nothing and your man then does a reverse layup or he might do a change up layup and it's really kind of nice to see that. In this year's game, it's pretty, it's pretty important to be able to do that because a lot of the bigs now, they're not even real bigs. They're seven foot small forwards and they're running just as fast as you are as a point guard or a shooting guard. And it just feels good to have a second option to kind of switch things up just in case. You know, so it's a very important thing to have in your arsenal, especially if you're somebody who's small like me, <laughs> or I like small characters. Anyhow, I hope this made some sense to you guys. Here it is. I'm going to show you guys my Acrobat badge. 
and you know now just I upgraded it to the gold so now it makes it a lot easier my percentage is gonna be a lot higher when I'm attacking the basket so if this made some sense to you guys click that like tab subscribe if you're new to the channel and until next time I'll holla at you dudes later